Hey Alan, I'm going to try to record this live here. Uh, you might hear my Pandora going in the background, a little bit of music. Um, I have opened the BioJava. I have a shortcut to it. Uh, this is the graphical user interface thing here. Uh, we want to run, actually I'll show you later. But anyway, I clicked on choose and there's your folder that I use. And I want to do Raptor X. I'm going to do Bass 5 for you here in my auto doc. So I need to run these in auto doc first to generate the conformer file. These are the ones you see the ligand, and then the out is the output from Vena. So I've sent you the link to the Vena tutorial to show you how this is generated. I'm going to start with the phenylethyl uh, so we start with phenylalanine metabolism there's another one that's uh, methionine that's the methyl that you see here and then there's an out and I've got another these transporters transport into the plastid and then there's a metabolism with an enzyme and then they uh, transport out then you see these logs here those are the delta G values that I got for each of these um, uh, metabolites cargo right we won't call them substrates although it is used but they're a cargo for a transport protein um, these are the logs that contain the delta G for the 20 binding sites that Vena generates um, and then this is out is the conformer file so I'm going to open that if you have a uh, the you may be wondering, what do I think? Uh, you notice that I clicked on the custom files here. When it comes up, it selects plec uh, has a, by default select PDB ID. I went to custom files. Oh, sorry, I'm in the alignment one. Mm, wrong one. Sorry, that's the that's the alignment software. Anyway, that's how you use the. Uh, here's the PDB editor. Sorry about that. So let's open up this. Okay, so here's the PDB editor. I had the wrong one open. Sorry. Uh, here or file open. I'm going to open a folder. Now you're going to see me search for it. Go back, go back, uh, and my public folder, public documents. I. Oh man. Uh, I got to find yours. Thought yours was in public. Got to go back. Sorry. Mm, it's here under Clyde. Uh, documents or my documents? Nope. Sorry, man. There you are. Okay. Um, 217 Bass, um, Raptor X, Raptor X, Bass 5, AutoDoc, our results. Okay, same files, but here we are. So I'm going to collect this one. This is the out. So this is the conformers, right? So that's the conformers. You see uh, atoms numbered 1, 2, 31 for this one, right? These are big ones. <laughs> uh, let's see. <clears throat> you might see it here a beeper going off in the background. I just put a Coca-Cola bottle in the ice <laughs> box. <laughs> I'm supposed to go take it out because it should be chilled by now. Okay. Um, now what I need to do is find the file for the Bass 5 Raptor X, that's the uh, PDBQT is the file generated by Vena, if you've looked at that tutorial. Okay, so this is the uh, receptor that I'm opening now. I just did the conformers of the ligands. So you hear, see here, there starts at residue 79. I can explain that later. There's a like a leader sequence that gets clipped off once it's delivered to the plastid. This is the beginning of the functional protein. Anyway, residue 79, you see, uh, is this chain? That's charge. This should be chain ID. Uh, 
If there were chains, there's no chains in this, it's a single molecule. In the MPC12, we've got chain A and chain B. But here are all the residues, so I just got down to the last residue, 407. Scrolling down, and now I scroll all the way to the right, and I click right there. So when we paste in the position of the ligand with this button, this tab here, or uh, edit paste, um, we want to be positioned in this cursor all the way to the bottom right and to the uh, the right column, right? The bottom row in the column, bottom right hand row, and the bottom uh, in the right hand column. Did I finally say that correctly? Okay, so that was the protein. Now here we've got all the 20 conformers. So you see there it is once, all the way down to the 20th time. Let me open a log from this. I forgot which molecules that, that was. It was one of the phenyls. Uh, GSL. Glucosinolate. That's the one that we opened, the out. So if I open the log, <clears throat> you see that it has delta G values, the affinity values, kilocalories per mole, for 20 positions. And number one, wherever it is on the on the receptor, and that's what we'll see by combining these two when we open it into uh, Swiss PDB viewer. It's the highest affinity, the lowest uh, kill cal per mole, lowest energy state binding site. Okay, and closest to the um, the coordinates at which I targeted it. If you watch the uh, Vena. Uh, video, you know that you have to select your coordinates. Okay, so here's the ligand, L-I-G, <laughs> L-I-G, <laughs> as you can see over here. <laughs> and here's the far right column and far bottom uh, row. Okay, so now I come here, make sure I'm to the top and to the far left. And then I click here, it unchecks that, really critical to check it again. I push my shift key button and I'm pushing the down arrow to select all these rows within this column and then I go all the way across I'll send you these same files so you can practice on this so I've selected the entire set of information in this PDB file for the the conformers of the ligand uh, generated by Vena remember in Vena the uh, receptor the protein over here Bas 5 is held rigid, but in part of the process of processing your ligand when you bring it into there is you set up the flexible uh, or the torsion uh, bonds, right? And then so when Vena does its calculation, the receptor is rigid over here and the ligand is flexible. Uh, I still haven't had you do the uh, rosy ligand binding. Um, in that one, you have to send it the conformers, all the coordinates for a conformer, although I think they've updated that so you can send one and then have it generate the conformers. But anyway, uh, rigid conformers uh, and then flexible uh, rigid ligand and then flexible uh, receptor, right? It'll kind of reposition amino acids to say if we kind of tweak the amino acid positions, what would be the best binding site for this conformer or that conformer of uh, the ligand. Okay, so I hope that helps you understand the difference between vena and rosy ligand binding. Real life is a combination of both, here and there, moment to moment, <laughs> you know. Um, nanosecond to nanosecond or whatever and, and uh, angstrom to angstrom uh, as we live our life. Anyway, I have selected all of these, the standard way of selecting. Uh, click on the top left. Another thing you can do is you can click here that doesn't uncheck. Left arrow, right? That doesn't uncheck so I don't have to recheck. Use shift down arrow to go to the, uh, the 31 atom in it. We've got the atom name and all the other information. You can look at that. Scrolled, held the shift key down, right arrow, all the way over. This is the edit 
uh, copy selected atoms in the PDB format. All right, and then we come over here to this one, activate that window. Uh, the target for the copy paste, we're in the far right column, uh, the far bottom row. We do edit, paste, right, and then file save as. Uh, usually I open this one first and it takes me to that folder, but anyway, there you are. Um, can come in here, this one, uh, Raptor X, this was Bass 5, it was Auto Dock. Auto dock kind of works like that. Uh, do that one. I can go. First thing I want to do is just this saves it as a PDB, so I'm just going to get rid of the QT, right? And then all the way home. Uh, let's see, this is model one out somewhere in here. Put model one. Model one. Uh, push the home button to come up here. This is uh, BASS6, right? It's up here, BASS5. That's what it is, BASS5 underscore. So I have named my file. BASS5 is the receptor. That's uh, the uh, ligand. The structure 3D CID, that's the um, identification number. Uh, I think these I pulled from PubChem. In a way, it'd be another identifier for uh, Chem Spider. Uh, I'm putting it into the same folder I took it out of. I save it there. Now I come to SPDV, Swiss PDB Viewer. If you click on File, it shows stuff you had before. It doesn't matter. Go to that. Just let you do that. Now we've got a folder that hopefully is in our. Yeah, and there's what we just created, right? The PDB. Uh, look at this. This is one where I sent it to a website. I'll show you it later. It positions them in the membrane. But we'll get rid of that. Anyway, I'll show you that later. <laughs> right now, we just want to drag this and drop it in here. Okay. Once it's in there, I'm going to click within that window. Go up here. Make sure the first one, not the one I just grabbed, dragged in is uh, highlighted in red click back in this window I hit control W that one goes away the one with the membrane around it pretty cool I'll show you that later as I said uh, find my cursor stretch this out okay there's my uh, bass 5 do you still that hear that beeping in the background I gotta go get my soda out of the freezer okay uh, I just did display in 3D, and I'm going to zoom in. I clicked on the zoom thing over there. Where's our... There's our ligand, right? So the highest affinity ligand is there. Once I have it like this, um, now with this one, move that over. That's the control panel. No, that's the control panel. This is the uh, layers info, right? What I'm going to do here is just minimize that, and I'm going to open Lig Plot Plus, right? <clears throat> We're almost out of time, so anyway, I'm going to open that in Lig Plot Plus <laughs> if I can get there in time. Uh, recent items, show me Alan, come on. The Z is on there just for putting your thing in the right place. Bass 5, I think that's where we were. Auto Dock. Gonna open the same one. I'm gonna. I want it to do the lig plot, not the dim plot, because there's there's no chains, right? Domains to look at the interaction between the domains. This shows me the residues with which it forms uh, the hydrogen bonds, right? Now I come back here to this one, and those are the residues. We're running out of time. Those are the residues I want to light up here. I'll, I'll put those on. Uh, I'll just put... That one's not going to show up anyway. There it is down there. But anyway, the, the ones that it just showed there, you, you highlight here. You activate by clicking those to make the V there. Um, and then you go to Build, Add H-Bonds, Tools, Compute H-Bonds. 
If that doesn't do it, you go to build, 